You ever have fruit that you just love and you know that you want to have more of it? Well, in order to make sure that you have the exact same type of fruit growing, one of the best ways to propagate that plant is by air layering. And today I'm going to show you how I propagate one of my favorite fruits in my food forest, the lychee tree. So as you can see, my lychee tree behind me is kind of a mess. I didn't really prune it. It grew up all spindly and weird. And so before pruning it, I wanted to get some plants off of it. I figure why not kill two birds with one stone? I'll prune it while air layering. So that's what we're doing here today. But I wanna show you the steps you need to do in order to ensure that you have a successful air layer for a lychee tree. It's really quite simple. First, you gotta choose a branch. A good branch is one that is uh, strong, sturdy, woody, but also doesn't have too many leaves at the end of it. Once you choose the branch that you want to air layer, you want to scribe a circle around the branch with a razor blade. I like to have at least one node in the middle of that circle, and I'll scribe a circle on either side of that node all the way around the branch. And then I'll do my best to take off that outer layer of wood in between those two scribes. So you're left with about a one inch uh, gap between um, bark. And you see the under layer of the bark, it's kind of white. You wanna make sure that you scrape any uh, remainder uh, material off with your razor blade. And when you're ready, you can go ahead and get it prepared for air layering. I like to get a little dusting of uh, root powder in there. And then I make these little baggies that are moistened with peat moss. And I cut a slit in them. And then I just push them right over that air layer. Get a couple zip ties on either end to tighten it down. And then smother it with tin foil to keep the light out. And then you let it sit there. As long as you moisten the peat moss properly, so it's just moistened to a, to a point where a little drip comes out. It won't rot, but it won't dry out either. And so when you come back in three to four months, you'll have a healthy air layer where you'll see tons of roots at that area where you cut. So it's been four months and I'm ready to see if our air layers actually work. Okay, here you see our uh, foil. I'm gonna unwrap them and see what surprise underneath. Wow, look at all those roots and look at all those fire ants. Well, that is a successful air layer, guys. Let's see how the other one did. Oh, another success. All right, so from here we just, ooh, and a ton more fire ants. If you're in Hawaii, you know how much these buggers suck. But from here, we just got to cut these air layers off the branch and pop them up. It's pretty simple. So let's go ahead and do that. Now we have two air layers that are gonna become two beautiful trees one day and they're gonna provide us tons of fruit. And all we gotta do is plant these into a pot. It really is that easy to grow your own food. So what's stopping us? Look how easy that was. Now, we're just gonna set this in the shade for about six months to a year, and we're gonna have a beautiful tree to plant out, to sell, or to give away. Growing your own fruit trees really is simple. It took me all of 20 minutes to get the air layer set up, and then 10 minutes to pot them up after waiting for four months. There really isn't much to it. And if you get better at it, you might be able to air layer more in that amount of time. Now, I propagate all sorts of fruits. I grow them by seed, I grow them by air layering, I grow them by cutting. And if you wanna learn more about how to air layer, grow by seed, or grow by cutting all sorts of different plants, you gotta check out my YouTube channel because I have all sorts of videos showing you exactly how to do that, mainly for tropical crops. So if you're in the tropics, wanna learn how to propagate your own plants, be sure to check out this playlist right here. And if you want, check out my website, homesteadinhawaii.com where it has all sorts of blog posts and you could get access to my videos from there. So once again, guys, it's good to be back. Thanks for watching today. Aloha.